okay so we made this now this is not a wireframe anymore okay this is now in the hands of a ui designer so we'll change the name to the explore section why because it is the explore icon which is highlighted and it is basically the explore section for the app that we are creating to book concerts and various other shows all right so i will just drag it down over there okay and this explore section it's of no use now okay the next section that we have to make is this one the booking one okay what this section does is basically when you click on this one the weekend image you will be navigated to this section you can see that here the explore icon is highlighted with the color and over here the ticket booking section is highlighted okay so now what i want you to do is basically click on this the name of the artboard okay which is explore hit control c on your keyboard and then control v on your keyboard so i get the copy of the entire artboard all right you can do it in other ways as well you can basically click on this explore okay now right click over it and you will get various options okay you can press you can just select the copy you can right click anywhere and you can just paste okay so it gives you another copy of it so i'm just going to delete it for now i'm just be keeping this one all right now what this helps us like uh, there is an option in adobe xd which is called as auto animate okay and this is the section that i like the most there are like uh, two very good ui designing softwares one is figma and one is adobe xd and figma kind of beats xd all right so there is one thing which is good in xd which makes it different from figma and that is its prototyping okay there is an option which is called as auto animate in adobe xd which helps us to make good user, uh, basically good user experience and prototyping okay so to make good user interface you can use figma all right both adobe xd and figma are good softwares to make interfaces all right and both of them have the same options the basic thing which differs is the prototyping and we'll dis discuss more about prototyping tomorrow all right for now we'll just continue to make this section all right so let's continue i'm just going to get rid of this uh, ariana grande section i'll just to uh, select any layer you can right click and go to delete to delete it else you can just click on the layer like this text and press backspace on your keyboard that will also delete the layer all right so you can see that uh, there are some things which are in common with this artboard and this artboard okay one of these thing is the image so we'll be keeping it and some other things like this button and this button are the same gradient so we'll be keeping it okay rest all of it will going to get rid of it okay so this thing and we just deleting the things that we just don't need for this artboard just delete them okay so this is done now i want you to delete this uh, categories also is of no use for now just delete every layer there's one more option you can just click on the artboard okay and drag your mouse to create this type of rectangle to select multiple layers at time okay just do it and you will be able to delete all of them at once by clicking on backspace so all this is gone now what i want you to do is click on this weekend rectangle okay 
as you, you you remember that this is mask group we masked it okay the image we made a mask out of it using the rectangle all right right click on this mask group okay and select ungroup mask so our mask is now released okay the rectangle is different and the image is different as well okay so they are now ungrouped okay so we'll just keep this rectangle down we'll use it later first of all what we're going to do is we will just resize this image okay that's our prime motive right now i will resize it such that it covers the entire like half of the artboard i guess that much you just make it big okay and make the text to go down over there there's no need to use them right now okay now i want you guys to listen to me really carefully because this is a bit advanced type of uh, design like you can see over here that this thing is blending on with this black color okay in the background okay the image it fades okay first of all it's bright and then it goes down it becomes black and then it merges with the background okay now to add an effect such advanced okay you have to use a bit like of your brain okay you have to use your brain and you have to be clever okay so next thing which i am going to do is i'll just click on this rectangle tool okay or i will just press r on my keyboard to select it i will make a rectangle which is equal to the height of this image okay so i made a rectangle which is approximately equal to the height of this image okay next what i am going to do is i will go to the fill like this rectangle is selected okay i'll go to the fill i will change from solid color to linear gradient like we did for the buttons and other rectangles we're doing the same now so now i have the gradient i will just keep it vertical only okay i will select the bottom point which is down over here i selected it i will change the color i will just drag the circle down like if you go over here it becomes red but we have the background which is black okay so i'll drag it down now it's black in color all right now similarly i will just select the upper one the upper circle the upper point i selected it now you see over here there are two uh, slide bars one is to change the color like this from red to pink to blue then green then yellow then again red so this is the color slider the other slider that you see over here it is basically to set the transparency of your rectangle okay if i make it like this and i will just decrease the opacity to minimum point okay this is i set the opacity to 0 there is one more way to do it i will tell you like now this is 100% i will just go over here this text which is just near the left to this eye dropper tool i'll make it zero okay so i just got this effect okay now click anywhere outside it all right so i got my rectangle and this effect as well okay now you can notice there is a border over here okay i will just untick the border to get rid of it all right so this is done